Good morning everyone. Welcome to Made Like by Janot. It's Anna here and I'm here with the fourth part of our little bird journal challenge. And the bird journal challenge is something that I do together with uh, Carol who has the YouTube channel Friendly Quail. Her link is down below. We have uh, we're each making a bird journal in our own style and uh, we have to include a bunch of prompts and some of it uh, are things and some of it are techniques. So we have to include uh, feather, texture paste, gilding wax, shake a window, pocket, uh, either a twig, branch or stick, uh, leaves, die cuts, decoupage, beeswax and watercolors and uh, you can do your own take on this uh, and if you want to please show us what you've done uh, with the hashtag bird journal challenge one word this list will also be down below so i'm gonna plop this to the side and my little card to the side and let's get on uh, this is the book that i am working with uh, it's a vintage book from 1911 really gorgeous uh, it's lost some of it co its color during the years, but I think still think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and today I want to try my very first shaker card or shaker window because it's going to be a pocket for me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm I'm going a bit uh, I'm I'm um, making it easy for myself. I have these. It's a Tim Holtz frame. That's been sewn around and everything, so it's it's a finished window, actually. And I'm going to use that. And I am going to start by just getting some glue paper out, and I'm going to ink the um, hole here so that it doesn't look as white and bright. Of course, you can do your own uh, frame use a punch or whatever but I thought why not take the opportunity to use something that I already got then I have I have managed to um, misplace my glassine so I'm going to use this is just from a paper bag and um, a paper bag plastic bag and I'm going, going to uh, use a piece of it and glue down and I will start with that. It's not extreme. It's not perfectly flat, but I don't mind. So I will just cut a piece that is big enough for this, and then I will glue it down. As I said, I'm making it since it's my first. <laughs> I'm making it as easy as I possibly can. I have been watching lots and lots of videos of people making. Uh, shaky cards and yeah I have never so it, it only confused me more I was a scrapbooker but I didn't make the shaker things let's get rid of the threads there and let us just plop this down and hope that it sticks I used art glitter glue. Uh, I tend to do that a lot and I hope it sticks to this kind of plastic as well. I'm going to apply a bit of force here as well because I can see that it's lifting a little bit and seeping out as well. Hmm. Let's try pushing from this way instead. That's good enough. So what I'm going to do, this will be, um, as I said, it's going to be a pocket or tuck spot in the book. And I have found a little image. Look at this cute little bird. Isn't it cute? This is a corner from a page from a modern um, 
a nature journal from with an artist named Marjolaine Bastin. Bastin, she is uh, was, I think, from Netherlands, and I love her style. So I want to use this uh, as the backing of my pocket. So it's going to look like this. And all of this will be glued together and the shaker thingies will be here. <laughs> uh, but to make sure that the shaker thingies... And I say that because I am not going to use sequins or beads or anything like that because I don't have any. So it's as easy as that. I'm going to do something else. And I'm praying that this will work because otherwise I have to do another video uh, on this and it's nerve-wracking as it is. So I want to create some kind of distance between these two and uh, I'm going to use this scotch fixing line because I couldn't find my double-sided tape and this one is a bit uh, thick so it's got a bit space but it's really wide as you can see so I'm gonna try to cut it in half. Here comes the tricky part. <laughs> yeah. So this is just my take, the apprentice take on um, shaker cards. I hope that half of it is good enough, or maybe I should have cut it in three instead. But hmm. just gonna see. That's a good one. And then the thing is you have to be really really close with these so it doesn't you know the shaking things inside don't escape <laughs> if, if i make myself uh, clear so i'm gonna plop that down and then i'm going to plop that down up here oh i pray this works and then, <laughs> now comes the tricky part, let's cut two more pieces and these have to be exact the right width. Uh, try and be a bit precise. sticks it sticks out to the outside and we do not want that but it's the right length anyway so let's try and get this a bit more a bit further in oh look at that i did it i have no idea how old this is but i'm hoping that it will stay stay gluey This is nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to pour, pour the shaker thingies in here and then take the uh, back side of the tape off and I'm going to plop this down. Hmm? That sounds easy, right? So let's hope it is. The problem is, I think, that this is sticky on the sides as well. But before I do that, I want to decorate this even further. Because um, I found a thing <laughs> that I have to include. Uh, in one of my uh, Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pens, I found this. Shake well before using. Isn't that the perfect piece of camera to st stick on a <laughs> shaker card? Oh, I can't, uh, I can't resist these kind of things. I love it when they are funny. So I'm going to stick this down here and I don't mind that it will go a little bit over the window. It just makes it a bit more um, dimensional. I could even attach it with the 
tape but that will bulk up the book too much I think so I'm just gonna glue that down before I do the rest do things I'm regularly that I'm r relatively uh, accustomed to Oof. anyway this is now wrecking right Trying things they've never done before on camera is always nerve-wracking, but it's fun. And I hope it will be cute when I'm done. Oh, it looks really cute. I think so. Yeah, so the seeds. And now I said it, seeds. I <laughs> I was thinking, what am I going to use instead of um, sequins and beads? What, do we, what, what do, would you use for a bird? Seeds course and I don't have any bird seeds either I have been out in the garden looking uh, I found <laughs> I found uh, different pieces of uh, grass seeds but they're too big and I think that they will um, get stuck too much in the plastic in the tape so then I rummaged to my cupboards to see what could I use and I found a couple of bags of seeds that didn't get put in the soil this year. I didn't, I, I forgot that I had them. And I have some, I think it's called cress, watercress, and I have radishes. So I'm just gonna use this and see what happens. <laughs> I'm not gonna use all of it because I think they will be, they have, they are expired, but I hope I can get a few. Uh, of the seeds put in the soil for spring. This almost looks like stones. That was the radishes. And they are shaking quite nicely there. Then we have, uh, I think, the watercress. The cress you can use on your sandwiches. And these are small. And ooh, another shape and another color. And that's what I want. So something like that, maybe? Is it too much? Is it too little? The sound is nice. I'm gonna say that's good. That's enough. So now I'm just gonna get the backing of the tape off and try to plop my um, image down and try not to get the, all of the seeds stuck in the tape while doing this so but I am stuck in the tape of course <laughs> I'm stuck and let's watch everything just fall out of, oh, oh that's great And thanks to the threads down here, I can see that this is my down and this would be my up. So let's just get it on. Oh my God. <laughs> let's wait for the big reveal. And this will be glued to a page, so. Oh my god! <laughs> I did it! Look! It's so cute. The bird has his seeds. And it's a shaker pocket. I did it! Wow! So this is going in the book, of course, and as a, po as a tuck spot, I think. Um, because the back side is not very pretty but I will not do that yet uh, not until the uh, folios have been has been in the uh, book press but I'm quite pleased with that one wow I did it so let's see what time it is oh only 14 minutes we have time for one more adventure <laughs> uh, let's do oh, what do we do I think I want to do texture paste. Hmm? I'm just gonna get my stuff and I will be right back. 
there we go. I have picked out some fun stuff and um, let's start. Oops, cut the mesh. I am um, going to use this Distress Grit Prey Paste and it's a Tim Holtz Ranger product. I bought it online. I hope it's going to work. I have tried it once or twice, so it's quite new to me. I have a little spatula thingy and pinch tape and this is the stencil I'm going to use. And this is uh, the THS 075 uh, if you want to. Let's see if you can find it. Uh, so I'm going to plop the packaging to the side and I have actually thought of a page as well. I will not do it on the front page. <laughs> I was thinking about it uh, and doing a bit of texture paste down here, but then I realized if it botches, if it doesn't work, I have no front page. So I'm gonna do it at the back instead. <laughs> Coward. So I'm just gonna take that page out and put the book to the side. And the reason I want to do it on this is that I think that this yellowed old paper will look marvelous with a white texture paste on it. So, oh, only nerve wracking things today. What a way to have a Sunday. Uh, and I think I'm going to want double. Uh, and I want just. I'm going to turn it over because I want this part. Over here, I want this. And I think I'm gonna want to position it like this. And now I have learned this the hard way. <laughs> tape down your stencil. And I'm using painter's tape because it's not supposed to. It is supposed to not hurt your paper. Maybe it does anyway, but then I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> so I'm going to tape it down. Like so, and I'm also thinking about doing some uh, taping here because I do not want that piece on. On the page, I'm just trying. This is kind of a first time for me. <laughs> I have tried it once or twice, as I said. So, I'm just going to check that we are in frame. Yes, I believe we are. And move our little shaker cart to the side. I can't get over how cute that was. So, I guess I'm just going to get some texture paste out and plop it onto the stencil and smooth it out and get rid of the stencil before it dries. I believe that is what to do. So I am smearing this quite liberally. If you want to see someone who does this really, really good, professionally, I would almost say, the master of texture paste, go to Nancy at Wishes and Weaves. She is so good at using texture paste. I am in awe every time she, she does it. It turns out so cute. And I was thinking about buying some uh, other colors of texture paste if this works out and it turns out as I want it to because I'm, I'm almost drawn to making a dark uh, kind of themed journal. Um, you know, Victorian Undertaker almost. Not Halloween, I don't like Halloween. Um, but a eerie type of journal. Gothic. 
there we go are we happy with this we have to be because now i am going to put the lid on this and remove the stencil and see what happens <laughs> nervous uh yeah so i am going to the first time i did this i wrecked the stencil because i was totally wrong in keeping the stencil on until the whole thing was dried and then yeah you can imagine it, i never got it clean so let's uh, see if we can get this off and um, clean the stencil oh that's just the glue paper that doesn't matter Here we go, lifting it carefully. Oh, let's see. Oh, look, that is pretty. Now it just has to dry. So I'm going to pause you again, go clean my stencil and um, I will be back and this will be dry so for you I will be back in a second but for me it will probably be a bit longer bye for now and I am back it's not completely dry um, but I managed to get the stencil clean and everything so I thought I would do a little ending here um, I'm really pleased with that because the starch white against this um, more beigey uh, color i really love it it looks really nice so that would be a beautiful page and i thought about we have to cross our challenges off because i haven't done that and uh, let me get a little pencil and now i can cross out texture paste and i can cross out shake your card because i am really pleased with this it's just so cute shake well before use yeah cute i just want to get rid of that little uh, i'm looking for a knife that little piece of tape there that is sticking out There we go. Easy peasy. Yes. So that's two things. And I remember last time we did feather. So let's check on the feather, shall we? I have... Um, this is what it looked like last time. And it still does. But this lifts up. And then I have sewn on some journaling spots under here. Some hidden journaling under the flap and on the back it is as i said sewn on so i think that turned out really cute i might even add, add feathers in other ways as well but i can cross it out because i have used it so now i have left gilding wax i have to think about where i want to use that twig branch or stick how can i do that without bulking up the book uh, carol did an amazing thing go over to her channel link down below uh, and she added it to her front uh, i do not want to do that because my my um, i have a totally different kind of book than she has <laughs> i have one of those vintage ones leaves i have an idea about that die cuts not so Hard. And now that I got a big shot, I just have to get it out and do it. Decoupage. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, I have some um, Tim Holtz collage papers I want to use. Beeswax. Waxed paper. I have made wax paper. But I still haven't decided how to use it. And the watercolors will come. 
I love using watercolors. Yesterday I was sitting watching the uh, the first Downton Abbey movie and I was doing whole pages of swatches on vellum and that turned out really cool. Uh, sadly I put them in the other classroom so I have to get them and show you another time. And also on um, what's it called tissue paper and that was amazing it was so much fun so uh, i'm going to show you another time but that is how far we have gotten in this i have put in a few pockets as you know and i will continue to work a bit off camera i think uh, to get this book going a bit and um, yeah that's it for today everybody let's um get together soon again because i have things to show <laughs> i have things to show and things to do i'm really happy about today's little adventure and more of them are coming so don't forget to check out carol's video and use the hashtag bird general challenge if you want to show your take on this and i will talk to you guys really soon thank you so much for being with me today I really appreciate it and uh, yeah, have a great week everybody. Bye.